Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm here with my lovely wife, Gloria. And we are so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise God. Now, now, we've got lots, lots, lots of things to share with you. But before we go on, can we call for that daily bread? Don't just talk. Release your faith. Now, what does it mean to release your faith? Believe that those things that you are saying will come to pass. And Jesus said, you shall have whatsoever you say. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Are you ready? So declare these words to me. Say, Father. Father. I demand. I demand. And I receive and I today. Receive today. My daily bread. My daily bread. It's coming to me now. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' In name. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, we, 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 are, we are talking about family matters. And we are sharing with you from Abraham. The Bible says, follow them who through faith See. and patience obtained, obtained the promise. promise. Abraham obtained the promise. Yes. He did. Now, the Bible says we should follow him. So, now, you want to talk about family. Abraham is the first example in scriptures that the Bible um, talks about, talked like about that dealt with family issue. You, you could see his family exposed before God. We can't talk about Adam and Eve because we, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we don't know anything about the family. We just know they gave birth to Cain and Abel and Cain killed Abel. And we don't know the instruction they passed down. And then secondly, they had left. God had driven them out of the garden. So it means God have stopped communicating with them in revealing himself. So they are no good example. So the next good example we find is Abraham, that's someone who God actually started a new walk with. And because God specifically mentioned, you know, that's, that's in Genesis 20, Genesis 18 and verse 19, God says, I know him. And God said he will command his children and his household after him to keep the way of the Lord, which is righteousness, judgment. And he says, because so that I will bring to pass the thing that I have said concerning Abraham. You were what you said now just <laughs> I just heard the Lord say. You say he said to keep you said to keep the way of the Lord. That's yeah. what the scripture says. Yeah. So he was keeping the way of the Lord. Then he also says what he has spoken to him. So in your keeping the way of the Lord, God comes to you. The scripture in John 14, mm -hmm. he sees something that you do. He loves you. He comes. He makes his abode with you. He dwells with you. When he's doing that with you, what's going to happen? He's going to be talking to you often, giving you instructions, telling you things, revealing his intent for you. So that is what we see for Abraham. Those things that God told Abraham. So there is the keeping of the way of the Lord, like you know, practicing loving kindness, walking in righteousness, just being a good man, just like the, the, the man that approached Jesus, like he, Jesus just loved him for doing good, just loved him for saying, I have kept the law. Jesus just loved him. So when you just set up yourself to walk in righteousness, to walk in truth, you become loved of God. And then he's, he comes he dwells and then he starts speaking to you, telling you things concerning your your life, concerning your future. Abraham was it was written of him that he was going to be a great nation. Yeah. And he now started he had to now command his children so that this would come to pass. Now, how do you command your children? How do you teach when you are not available? I'm thinking of something now. Okay. God said, in order that I will bring to pass the things I have spoken concerning Abraham. Okay. Sometimes we make this mistake of thinking, God says, I will make you something. He's only thinking about you. You, yeah. He's not just thinking about you. God is looking at your whole lineage. Yeah. He's looking at everything that will come out from, from you. you. That's what he's looking at. So if God said, I want to bless you, 
he is thinking beyond you as an individual. individual. Yeah. He is thinking of, he, 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 God looked at Abraham and said, it's true, you all the nations, all the families of the of earth, the earth <laughs> will be blessed. blessed. Yes. So let's not be selfish in the, or myopic, I think that's the word, mm. in thinking that the promise of God ends with, with us. us. No. You know, sometimes say, God says, he will make me rich. Where is the riches? And then I say, can you imagine? I'm even, let's, let's say you're even 75 years old. <laughs> Where is the riches? So, maybe God has forgotten his promise. Do you know, Abraham did not physically inherit any land while he was alive. But God promised him. God actually said, I have given you. How do I know Abraham did not inherit any land? When his wife Sarah died, he went to buy a plot yeah. of land. Now, that plot of land he bought was part of the places God says, I have given to you. Mm -hmm. But he didn't go there and say, God has given me this place. Yeah, do you know they even there. offered him mm -hmm. to have it for free? Mm -hmm. Abraham says, no, no, I've got to pay for it. Now, that shows me a man of integrity. A man who doesn't take advantage of, of people. people. Abraham was in his spiritual legal rights to claim the land because God had given it to him. Mm -hmm. But you see, ah, he was not going to claim it by his own calculation. If God had given it to me, mm -hmm. then let him give mm -hmm. it to me. By himself. I just remember David. Patience. <laughs> he was patient. And that's a godly factor. That's patience. the way of the Lord. Patience. When God says something to you, there is a process to which it will come to pass. So You don't just go take it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Except the Lord commands you, get so, up and go and take it. Yes. Then you know that you're walking by the command of God. If God doesn't command you, get up, go and take it. You then don't. And that's how I remember David. God had said he will be king. Mm -hmm. And he knew that an evil spirit was disturbing Saul, who was the king then. He knew. And then Saul was after his life to kill him. Mm -hmm. But now David had an opportunity. Saul walked into where he was hiding. And was fast asleep. Not just Saul. All his men were sleeping. All David needed to do was to take a spare and trust it through him. That his enemy is dead. His, the prophecy concerning his life will be fulfilled. His, all Israel will be safe. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to leave a nation under the man that is influenced by an evil spirit. But Especially they, when you know that God said you... You will be. You God will has be already changed. spoken that I have rejected that man. Mm -hmm. So you, you want to say, <laughs> God has rejected him. He's not making things easy for any of us. He wants to destroy me mm -hmm. that God has spoken concerning. So he would have, I'll kill him. Mm -hmm. But because David was there. David is another person we should talk about. We will know? talk about him. Yeah. And 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 now he said, God, God didn't tell him, rise and kill him. He exercised loving kindness too. His so enemy. Ah. Someone that made himself his enemy. Mm. Not, yeah. David didn't yeah. see him yeah. as the enemy. Yeah. He just made himself David's enemy. Yeah. Now, so Abraham didn't take the land by force. Yeah. He was going to wait until God delivers the land to him. into him. So we were talking about how, how to command your family yes availability i'm narrowing it down now to you as the head because abraham was the head of his yeah, home yeah. as a father you know we talked about your personal relationship with god you may have this personal relationship with god but now you have a family uh, or now you relate with people and you are not consciously passing it down and then maybe you're not even available for your family it ought not to be so if you're a father that is enjoying fellowship with god and you're not consciously passing it down to your wife because <laughs> sarah is a woman that the bible talks about highly she honored abraham to the point that she called him lord that tells me that they had a good relationship he was available for her yeah 
he was available for the children and Sarah understood the commands of God to her husband and I'm, I'm pretty sure that she had a hand in the makeup of Isaac and how Isaac turned out because <laughs> when she died it hit Isaac really hard yeah. so that tells me that Isaac was really close to the mom now why did I talk about her she was the wife of this man why was she this phenomenal person that the Bible talks about that she honored her husband to the point that she called him Lord. I think the man presented himself to her, showed loving kindness to her. He loved her. He was available for her and she was able to submit in joy. Now, I'm not, <laughs> we are still going to go to that era because I'm sure people will be fast to say, oh, it's because of what he did. I'm just stay with me in the context of this like don't let your mind run wild because i know that family issues are very delicate issues there's a lot of angles to it but now we're just talking about the man because the someone listening now could just say oh it's because he was everything to her that's why she submitted we are still going to talk about that no, but, but the God, truth is he was everything to her mm -hmm. Because he was available to, to the her. Lord. Yes. He yes. was available to, to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And because he was available to the Lord, the things the Lord was dealing with him on. He was see, also available to her. I believe sometimes. Um, you know, I was thinking of this this morning while we're preparing for this. I believe sometimes why some men, we're talking about the man, yeah. are not really available. I believe it's, it's there is a sense of inadequacy in them. They have not come to terms with who they are. So sometimes they feel a sense of failure and they can't face it. So they feel in their mind that they would rather spend time with people that don't know them than people who know no. them. So this is this is what makes now now people say, oh, I'm not available because of my job. No, it's not true. Because even if you're not physically there, you can still be available. Yes. A man cannot, it's possible a man is not in his house physically, but anyone who comes in will feel his presence because mm -hmm. there's constant communication taking place. Yes. There is everything. You, you, he's not been home for a week, but you ask him today, he'll tell you, oh, five, five minutes ago, my, my daughter did this. He, he knows he what's knows going on. He knows what's going on in his home. And he has set up godly principles. Exactly. You don't just get married to your wife and take off and disappear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no. Or maybe you're even in the same city, but your family hardly feels your presence. Your yeah, family... yeah. You know, that, that's what I was sharing. I said, that, you know, the Lord was just talking to me this morning and telling me, like, sometimes, he said, this is, this is what happens to most people. The feeling of inadequacy. Somehow, they feel I'm not, I should have been better than this or I should have been more than this. Now, those things are worrying in, in their, their hearts and now your wife is your comfort zone you want to cry you go cry <laughs> oh, nah, you understand what i'm saying but but instead of doing that they allow pride to come into their hearts mm -hmm. and they shy away from being available now that's just simply because they are truly not working with, with the, lord. the lord because they are not yeah no matter the challenge, no matter the situation, no matter the character flaws yeah. that you may have, we are all working pros like our work with God is progressive. We we come the way we are, but He doesn't leave us the way we are. I'm definitely not. So that's why the first thing you must recognize is that you cannot fulfill the promises of God on your own. Yeah. You you cannot be perfect on your own. Never. You have to lean on him. You have to trust him. You have to look to him and be transformed. You cannot be ashamed of who you are. 
and then shy away from your family or maybe it's a financial situation you're not you know money is not coming in the way it's supposed to come in what do you do go to the father he gives you his word and that's the that's that's more than gold <laughs> you know, because in your keeping yeah, of his word yeah, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know let's just round up with this i know our time is up but, but you need to hear this you need to hear this it doesn't matter how inadequate you feel mm -hmm. the one thing you must sure have is god's word yes and listen if it will take you to lock yourself in, you don't need even you don't need more than you can even get this done in a day mm -hmm. Just, just turn aside and, and say, no, no, give me a vision for my life and for my family. Just like he gave Abraham. Yes. He was working with something. And the Lord will visit you. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, when that word comes, it's an assurance that everything you need will come. Mm -hmm. Now I'm talking to those who are feeling inadequate Adequate, with yes, themselves. Yes. For whatever reason. For whatever reason. Go to the Lord. All you need is his word. And he will He can speak to you like he spoke to Abraham. Say, fear not. I will make you great. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, go back home smiling and say, honey, God says he's going to make us great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Listen, just a statement like that will turn the light in your family. Yes. doesn't matter if you've not eaten for the past three days. You just came back and say, honey, you know what? God is going to make us great. Mm -hmm. She now wants to know where yeah. did you get that information? <laughs> and then you say, oh, God I... just spoke to mm -hmm. me. God spoke to me. I went to pray and God spoke to me. You're already passing <laughs> down the ah, relationship Karabu you're enjoying to, the, to your wife as well. Father, we, we, we just thank you. Thank you, Lord. You are great in our midst, Lord. Yes, and yes. we honor you. Thank you for what you're doing in the lives of everyone listening and watching us. Amen. Thank you for what you're building in us. We give you praise. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, bye. bye.